The Russians moved in classic Soviet doctrine. Three echelons, with tanks leading, infantry following, and support vehicles in the rear. They believed their electronic warfare systems were jamming Ukrainian drones. They were wrong. Ukraine was using new frequency hopping technology provided by the Pentagon just weeks earlier, immune to Russian jamming. At 6.03 a.m., Russian lead elements entered the first kill zone without knowing it. Ukrainian engineers had spent two weeks preparing this ground, not with traditional mines that could be detected and cleared, but with American M21 remote anti-tank mines that could be activated on command and British L9 bar mines that were virtually invisible to detection equipment. The trap was set in layers. First came the artillery. At 6.05 a.m., Ukrainian guns opened fire with American M982 Excalibur GPS-guided shells. These weren't ordinary artillery rounds. Each one cost $68,000 and could hit within three feet of its target from 25 miles away. 